ninety tourists. Low value and medium value. Oh my god. A thousand tourists a day. <laughs> As you can see, we are back, and we are still marveling at how amazing the train is. Uh, 2,900 people a day from my city going out, and where are they going? They're heading over to Kramik's place to shop. So um, the whole region thing is working. They're not just going to shop. I have 4,502 riders a day who are going to work industrial. <laughs> Wait, how can they be working industrial if I don't have, I have no idea. a train station? I thought you were telling me, hey, wait a minute, you need to have a train station. <laughs> yeah, you do. But I have 4,000 riders a day. Where the hell are they going? They could be like, coming to hang out in my city because my city's so beautiful and clean and lacks air pollution. All right. My air pollution's under control. All right. We're back to industrial for this one. Uh, my residential city is freaking phenomenal, as you can all see. Um, industrial city, not so much. It's having a bad time. So um, we're going we're gonna to fix that. I'm not sure how, but we're going to fix it. Actually, I think the first thing I should do to fix it is if I can save up. You know what? Screw saving. Even though I said I've never taken a bomb before, I'm going to do it right now. Because if I can put a train station up in here... Yeah, I'll probably do it. Yeah, I can actually see the, uh, let's see, where, where I can put this here. Okay, not enough simoleons. Yeah, I'm aware of this. The only downside is I'm only making 468 an hour. Which means I would not actually be able to repay back a loan. So, um, yeah. So we kind of have to wait this one out just a little bit. But I am in trouble for water. Um, I am in trouble for... Let's just throw one of these up to see if I can... Alright, that at least evens me out. I am in trouble for sewage, even though... Look at this. I have an excess sewage thing, but the thing is crying, but backed up pipes. Whatever. Uh, okay, fire, fire I understand. Um, you know, fire service is slow. Well, you know what? Shut up. That's oh, all, all this tourism has made my commercial very happy. Minus the oh. low wealth. Are you kidding? It's got to be amazing right now. So, here's the problem. People aren't going to be happy, but I'm going to have to tax it a little bit higher right now because I need to get out of this rut that I'm in on this city. We need to turn a profit, and we need to do so quickly. The other thing that I'm considering is because my residential city is doing so well, I might be able to get away with popping up a university in there, which means we might finally be able to deal with hazmat fires. Which is the only reason I haven't increased to... Uh... My next level of attack, which everyone wants to. Okay, it. now humor me. Here's the fire station. I don't know where my trucks are, but right next door is the biggest fire I've ever seen in game. Like seriously. I know. Ne next to my fire station. There. There. I spawned another fire truck just so it can fight this fire. This is ridiculous. Alright. I need to take the same level of care in this city as I had done. Yeah, see, I can't I can't keep this going. See, I don't want to spawn more residential in here, but I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> Not enough 
Oh wow, my people are screaming for residential. I'm like, no, I'm not putting more. Good out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick it in here. And you know what? If they build, all the better. That'll get me making money again. If there's more people for now, I could always rip them down later. The goal is, is I just need to be able to. Still with the fire hazmat fires, son of a bitch. <laughs> there you go. Somebody put something he shouldn't have put in. Oh, I have high density industrial, and high density industrial has one major flaw. It creates hazmat fires, which cannot be fought by normal firefighters. No, you need to have super special mega firefighters. And to get to the super special mega firefighters, you need to have a university. It is a colossal pain in the ass. But after building the residential city, I've learned of some mistakes that I've made in building this one. All I have to do is survive long enough and have my things that go out and make enough money. I've learned enough that um, in the aftermath of the zombie attack, I increased the density of my lower residential area and wiped out some most of the stuff that wasn't in the right spots when I wanted it. And I'm making 2000 an hour now, and it's climbing. Well, that's good. It's unfortunate that the city, even if you're logged in and say I go to visit Kramick City, my city stops. It does nothing um, while I'm away from it, which is really kind of unfortunate because it would be nice if, you know, I could do something else for a little while rather than just sit here and wait for the money to slowly tick. But, um... What I really want, but have absolutely zero way of affording it, is a recycling center. But, um, yeah, money is hard to come by right now. But there we go. All my, uh, my trade depots just ticked over, which gives me... Enough money for the train. Choo-choo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my trains dropped down to 3,200 a day, but still very impressive. Well, where I put my train in this town, maybe not the best place to put it, but see, I I don't know here. I, I'm thinking I need to just get this working to where it's making enough money and, <clears throat> and then my, demolish my... everything. And start my, over. My my city built a hotel. I can see a hotel now. It's filled with tourists. Really? Because it actually it actually tells you that if the tourists don't spend their money, they stay in a hotel. All right. Setting up the train thing. Really, really good idea. I have eleven hundred tourists a day. And that's what it was supposed to be. It's working. This whole thing that we're doing here, it's actually working. I can't believe it. What's unfortunate though, and the problem that I've got is, I think just poor decisions on, um, on my initial layout of this. This was a hard one to build on anyways because of the terrain, but I think some poor decisions in how I went about this are going to end up screwing me over in the end. I got to come up with a better way to manage this. People are in my town are like complaining, where's the shopping in this town? Uh, look to the southern. Is that, I don't even know what's up. I'm gonna call it hmm. no, I was gonna say, look to your left. Yeah, the people are tired of waiting for the train. Well, too bad. 
At least you have a train. In my day... <laughs> oh, wow, I don't even have all the, the police car lots in this station build. Here, have some more cop cars. Okay. I, I'm still having a serious problem with traffic, though. Oh, and education hates me, because I'm teaching okay. all the students. Okay, this, we need somewhere to ship our freight. What is that, and how do I stop that? I wish I knew how. Because I'm about to lose another factory who's all like, Oh my god, we have no place to ship our freight. Clearly they're not shipping, shipping to me. I have places that are close because they need workers, so... <laughs> I am not making high industrial yet. I can't deal with hazmat fires. That would rip me apart. Well, the plus side is... Now this city has 23,000 people living in it. Is that your residential one? <laughs> no, the industrial one. <laughs> My industrial city actually has 23,596 people living here. I have almost as many visitors a month as I do population. Like for the month of November, uh, my population is 23,295. I have 15,000 visitors. Yeah, you. This was all by design. Yeah, well, I never expected it to work this well. Well, it's working for you. I still have 4,000 unfilled jobs, though. Well, that's exactly why I'm trying to fix my industrial You're here. That's exactly the reason I'm putting all of my focus now into this industrial yep. shithole that I've made. The moment you popped in a train station, I'm now sending... There's now 7,300 people using it per day with a 12-minute wait. Yeah, because now they can get to work. I'm making 3,000 an hour. Nice. See? I helped you recover. I've actually rebounded this city pretty well. I mean, I'm only making a thousand an hour, but I was making next to nothing. So a thousand an hour is better than nothing. Yeah. I think it's almost time to up the density of my medium re value residence over there. Except I don't have enough schooling for that. I, I messed up again. I gotta stop doing this. I keep screwing everything up. Okay, how does one remove our uh, bus stops that are no longer necessary. Bus stops are always necessary. School bus stops. Because all my residentials are across town now. It's all in the same little swing. Concerned about crime, so I'll need to put another station. Yeah. Let's see. What are they requiring? Your city is growing fast. Keeping your residents happy will cause large, low wealth houses to grow. Make sure you have at least medium density roads. Well, where do I not have medium density roads where this thing is complaining? I have no idea where this thing's complaining. It makes no sense, man. 
But yeah, thanks to the trains, I mean, this is just insane what's happening right now. Mm hmm Now, the next thing we have to do... ...is gonna be the ferry. I could pop one in right now. Question is, is worth it? Because I honestly don't know. But what I really do need is more boots. Well, here's the thing. I figure. If the ferry has even half the effect that the train does... <laughs> it's worth it. Well, the average wait time at uh, 1 in the morning is 32 minutes. But there's still people waiting for the train! I have homeless people, but that's just because I, uh... <laughs> I just busted up a bunch of homes. Okay. So, I'm now making money again. Which is good. I like money. Question is, what am I doing to help this along? It would really be nice to throw up, like, a community college and all of my industrial. And just be like, shabam, there you go, big ass community college. Is that supposed to increase tech level, right? Yeah. And if, increase if you drop, tech level. If you drop a community college in, it will increase mid wealth, residential land value, and uh, help industrial. Well, I pop it next to industrial because it says that if you mm -hmm. put it next to industrial. I have 505 students per day in my school, but I can't pop a high school? No, because we don't have- we do not have another department of education. No, so, yeah, we that don't. Would, that would do it. And now I can teach 900 students. So, that'll make the majority of my students happy. Yay! Oh my god. So many shoppers commuting in. Oh my god. I don't have a homeless problem anymore. That's good. I don't have one single homeless person. That's very good. I think... I've got this... under control now. Unfortunately, people can't get into my damn city thanks to the traffic, but... My community college has been stuck at close now hiring. But we'll see what happens there. Workers shortage. Zone residential. I'm not putting more people in here, damn it. We need somewhere to ship our freight. Well, grrr. 
The only thing I can think of about that is the uh, trade hubs. Is putting down the freight truck garage thingies. So they go and they, the freight trucks go out and pick stuff up. And is that at the, the depot? Yeah. I really need to build a recycling center. That really, 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 really needs to happen. Mm -hmm. I just need a lot more workers commuting in, because they're not commuting in for work. They're commuting in, in for shopping. No. Yeah. I don't know what's to like, say there. I have 4,900 people commuting in for shopping, 241 commuting in for work. Yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you there exactly, other than, uh, hey, I turned this city around. It's now making 4300 an hour. Oh, yeah, so am I. But my thing keeps saying that it needs workers. Like, I've overextended big time, apparently. Yeah. My thing wants me to zone nothing but residential right now. Yeah, same. I have the same exact problem. Like, and there's a little bit of regional demand for high wealth commercial, but yeah, the rest is just pure residential demand. But once I upgrade my road density, I think my problems will be solved. And by problems, I mean, um, I'm going to be screwed, blued, and tattooed. We need a trade, I need a trade HQ, a commerce division, or a petroleum HQ, a commerce division, or metals HQ, whatever, so I can make a trade port, which will let me connect directly to the rail and significantly increase my export. So I've got a long way to go to get this city up to where it needs to be. Yeah. But I almost feel like I need to like bulldoze half of it because compared to my residential city, this thing's a failure. Trade 72,000 global market resources in a day. Well, I can't do that. That's not with a recycling center. You can't. Yeah, not without the recycling center. So, that means let's look to the recycling center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, fire, whatever. Uh, garbage. Here we go. 110,000 for a recycling center. It cost me. Ooh. Well, let's see. I kind of want it straight across the street here. So. Well, I'm making 5,000 or 5,600 an hour, so. I'm making 38, but I popped in a fire station. And a police station. So I should be able to get a recycling center up in another couple minutes. That'll be amazing. So again, for the people who are watching, uh, we do have a Twitch TV channel, and we encourage you to go and subscribe to it. Uh, while I record these things, uh, Kramik is streaming from his perspective, so not only do you get to hear our wonderful commentary twice, but you can also see everything that he's doing. Therefore, I suggest doing it. Yes, go now. Prizes, cake, and things, and pie, and something else that sounds appealing, right? Hey lies, there's no pie. No, there isn't. I want a pie. 
Wow, I actually have my traffic manageable. Like, everything is... I don't see any red. And I'm sending, oh god, 12,000 people a day using the train. Mm-hmm. Actually, my traffic is pretty okay at the moment, too. It's because everyone's using the train. That's what we need. I see nothing wrong with this. I, I just can't believe half my population is using the train a day. Alright, I gotta stop spending my money just long enough. To get my, uh... Recycle center. Once I get the recycling center down, it's game over. Money will be flowing into here like none other. Then we need to start discussing what we're going to be doing for our uh, thingy out in region. Our great works. I don't know. Well, we can. I don't care. A solar farm could be interesting, but I was thinking like international airport. Or possibly Space Center. Space Center would be kind of cool. It brings in more tourists, education. Um, but the construction resources require 170,000 barrels of fuel, uh, 1,400 tons of alloy, and 40,000 crates of computers. But I can manage most of those resources <laughs> from my uh, industrial town. So... It could be worth it. It could be very, very interesting. So we'll have to decide which thing would best suit us. On one hand, the airport would actually be the best fit, since it's a tourist-based and it's, you know, bring people in kind of thing. I mean, we could have a ridiculously successful region here. Mm -hmm. a, mo a model example of how to do this. How to be pro without even knowing how. Come on, give me money. Money! How is it building out of money? It's a tourist trap. Well, I am anxious as hell to get back to my other city, though, because I need to be collecting money on that one so I can build my tourist plan. It's going to be awesome. Ah, still need to wait one more day for my stupid recycling center. Or one more hour. Just one more hour. It's not too bad. I think the train is the best thing to ever happen to us. Alright. Now, to actually upgrade my recycling center is going to take some time. Well, I upgraded all my residential uh, roads. Alright, so things are about to explode for you, huh? I kind of have an issue. I'm making good money, but I kind of have a slight issue in that... I'm going to need another trade post. Crawl through what placed building? There's no place. Oh. Oh. I see what my problem is. I need a metals HQ. I can't actually even do anything until I have a. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Something just exploded and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, that actually hurt. Alright, I got a water shortage again. I thought I was buying water from you. What happened there? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I'm buying all that's available from the freaking region, so... Well, I'm 50-50 for locals and visitors. <laughs> Alright, I need to focus on worker shortage, really. Um, I apparently don't anymore. I do. I have nobody to actually work my recycle center. Oh, <laughs> Same thing with a couple of the factories here. Closed needs workers out of business on fire. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to wait that one out because I don't know what else to do other than just wait it out. It's like zone residential. I don't want to freaking zone residential. No, I'm not going to zone residential. You grow residential. You grow residential. I'm not zoning it. I need a metals HQ, like now. I can't advance anything until I have it up. So I gotta wait one more day to get that. God, I wish I could get a smelting factory and the advanced coal mine and yeah. Things are exciting. But Metals HQ is going to go here, and then the other thing I needed, the oil one, is going to go over here. So everything will be right here, and it will be fantastic. My population hasn't climbed all that much for popping up to the next density. See, so now that I have a metals HQ, this affords me the option oh, that's that's of actually sure. building out metal storage and alloy storage. The problem is... I really need to build another of these. So if we just wait, just a little while, I can put up one more and do two alloy, two metal storage out of it, which then allows me also to get Oh yeah, there we go. The money's ticking high now. Okay. Things are going to get serious now.
And now we wait. Controlling land value is a little tricky. It is a little tricky. Um, ooh. You know what else is a little tricky? No. Trying to deal with the recycling situation. It keeps telling me that I have no recyclables. But that's just not the case. Worker shortage. I am not building more workers, damn it. We'll send Max's man out on another uh, little voyage there. If we had a streetcar, we could get across the city much faster. Yeah, well. And if I had wings, I could fly myself, so. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's good enough for now. You can kind of see my uh, my path here, what I'm attempting to do. The city has rebounded tremendously. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. So we'll be back with more.